Hello everyone, I'm Ola and this is Coding is for Girls. In my last video I talked about comparing values and I promised you that next time I will show you how to use that to gain better control over your script. When you write a program, you often want to do certain steps only when certain criteria is met. But before we'll do that, I think it's useful to learn how to write longer Python script instead of writing one line at a time in Python interpreter. This is where a code editor will prove to be handy. Typically, programs are saved in files that are then executed by compiler or interpreter. So far, we've been using Python interpreter and typing one line at a time and see the result immediately. So today, instead of opening Python interpreter, we will open code editor. If you don't have any installed yet, make sure to look at the video when I talked about installing Python and code editor. I'll open Atom, since I decided to install this code editor. But if you installed anything else, follow the step in code editor of your choice. We will create a new file and put some Python code there. So let's type print hello world. Now we want to save the file and give it some descriptive name, so it will be easier to find it when we want to execute our program. Let's call it python intro py and save it on the desktop. We can name the file anything we want, but the important part here is to make sure the file ends with .py. The .py extension tells operating system that the file is Python executable file and Python interpreter can run it. Okay, we just run our very first Python program in a file and let's see how it runs. Let's open our command line and go to the desktop where we have saved our Python file. So we do ls, then cd desktop and ls. Now to run the Python program we just wrote, we will type python3 space and the name of the file. So python3 python intro.py and click enter. Okay, you just run your very first Python program and saved it in the file. That's awesome. You could leave console open for now. We will run our Python script again and again, so it's good to have it open. The most awesome thing about it is that we don't need to write everything over and over again. Instead, we can open our file, edit it, save, and when we are ready, we can run it in console. Okay, time to learn some serious stuff. Very often, you would like to do something only when certain condition is met. For example, in real life, you would like to know if the person is vegetarian or not before serving the meal that contains meat. So we would have different option of meal depending on the person being vegetarian or not. Programming without checking if given condition is met wouldn't be possible. So let's see how it's done in Python. Python used a special construction to do that and it's called if statement. What does it mean? It means that Python has special keyword if that tells Python that we are about to start to compare things. Okay, so let's open our Python intro file in our code editor and remove first line. Let's type our if statement instead. It will be if 3 is greater than 2. If we will save it now and run it in console, we will get an error. Let's try Python 3, Python intro. It's syntax error. Python expects us to give it further instruction if the condition, here 3 is greater than 2, is true. Ok, let's fix it. In Python intro file, we will type the following in the second line of the file. We will type print, it works. What is important here is to notice that if statement has a certain format. First, we type if keyword. Then, we type our condition whatever we want to check. Then there is a colon. Colon informs Python that we are about to start block of code. This block will be executed only if the condition will be met. The block is defined by indentation. Every following line that is indented is in the block. 
we typically use four spaces. So in our scenario, our block will contain only print it works and this will be indented. Okay, time to save the file and check if it works now. We go back to console and run our Python program again. Python 3, Python intro and hit enter. Now it was executed without errors. And since our condition 3 is greater than 2 is true, we have it works printed. Okay, but what if we want to do one thing when the condition is met and another if it's not? For that, Python comes with elif and else statements. Let's edit our file. If 5 is greater than 2, we will print 5 is indeed greater than 2. Then we end the block for if statement and we do not indent anymore and type else and colon. As we already mentioned, colon means we are defining new block. So next line will be indented with four spaces and will print 5 is not greater than 2. If you look at this code, you will notice blocks much more clearly. First block is executed only when if statement is true. Second is executed when if statement is false. Okay, let's create something more sensible. We will remove everything from the file and define variable name. This time we would like to store the name, for example Sonia, in the variable. We'll call it name. And depending on the value of the name, we'll decide what to do. So let's say we want to say hi Ola if the name is Ola, hi Sonia if the name is Sonia, and hey Anonymous otherwise. We could use if else statement for that, but Python provides something more handy and it's called elif. It works a little bit like if, but it must be put in between if and else. Okay, let's see it in action. Now let's execute it in console. Python 3, Python intro. And we have hey Sonia, because the name is Sonia. What happens here is Python first check the first line of the if statement. So check if the name is Ola. It's not, it's Sonia. So we skip the body for the first if statement and go to the next condition, which is in elif. We check if the name is Sonia, and it is indeed, and we can execute the code in size. So we print hey Sonia, and then we can just ignore the rest. What is important here is to notice that we can only print hey Sonia if previous condition is not true you can add as many elif condition as you want. And you don't need necessarily to use else. But first if statement is must. We could add some extra two conditions like this to the file. So after checking if the name is Sonia, we'll just do elif name equals Magda, then we'll print hey Magda. And elif name equals Mary and print hey Mary. One more important thing is to know that we can check different variables and values in every if and elif statement, so we don't need to stick with name. So for example, we could add age variable. So after name is Sonia, we will type age is 21. Let's change the if name is Ola to elif. And before that, we will type if age is lower than 18 and we will print you are not allowed to see this. Now we will save the file again and run it in console. And we have Hey Sonia printed. Okay, let's back and change age to 17. Save and run it again. We will get only you are not allowed to see this printed. Okay, that's it for now. Today we learn how to write longer Python scripts and save them in a file to be able to execute them later on. We also learn about if a leaf and L statement that allows us to check if the certain condition is met and execute some certain things only if that's true. Next time we will talk about functions. You already know some, for example Python's length function, but in my next video I will show you how to write your own one. So if you want to learn how to program with me, make sure to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. Have a nice day! And see you!